I am back in Malaysia. Wow, doesn't it feel good to be back in Malaysia again? And I thought we'd start my video back in Malaysia at the front of the famous Petrolis Towers. As you guys know, last time I was here, I went to visit these amazing twin towers and I thought, I just love them so much, I wanted to come back. So I'm in Malaysia now for quite a while and I'm back here to create some of the best content for you guys and doing some different things that probably haven't been on my channel and probably you haven't seen on YouTube. Different challenges, showing you amazing apartment buildings here in the city, going to abandoned places, trying to live off a certain amount of money per day. So it'll be really interesting content for you guys and that's the reason why I'm back here. Now this morning what we're going to do is go and try Roti Chennai. Or is it Roti Kenai? I don't know, one of the two. <laughs> I'm going to be trying that because I've never had that before. So first things first, to go and get Roti Chennai, we're going to have to get on the KLJ line, the metro, to uh, go to our first stop, which will actually do some sightseeing around there as well, but I think we'll eat something first because I'm a little bit hungry. <laughs> so I just had to walk through the mall area here um, to get to the other side to get on the metro station. And there is some nice, very nice stores in here. For example, Gucci right here behind me. We've also got some other high-end brands that I'm not even gonna try and pronounce the name of. <laughs> but yeah, this is a really, really lovely mall uh, here in the center of KL. Also a quick note is that they also have these beam bikes all around the city and they're really convenient. This is actually my second day back, but yesterday I jumped on one of those little uh, scooters and went around and they're very easy. You just connect it to an app, connect your credit card and for a few dollars you can travel quite a far distance. Hey, I just jumped on the MRT here just in time actually. The doors were opening as I walked down the stairs. So yeah, let's go. Just got off the MRT station there. I'm already seeing a lot of food, but I gotta keep focus. I gotta find Roti Chennai. So yeah. I gotta keep focus. I keep seeing like naan, tacos, burgers, but we gotta find Roti Chennai. Uh, Roti Chennai, uh, plain. Yeah, how many? Uh, just one. And what's the tea and coffee mixed? Tea and coffee. Yeah, mixed. What's that called? You have, you have tea and coffee mixed. Tea and coffee mixed. Cham kare. Cham kare. Cham kare. This is. Yeah, cham. Yeah, cham. Yeah, I'll get one. One cham. <laughs> okay, so I've just ordered my roti. Can I? It's not can I. It's can I. I've got one of that. And I also ordered a chum, which I heard online was like tea and coffee mixed, but I didn't know what it was called. So yeah, we've ordered that too, so I'm really excited to try this. I just moved tables, because this one here was very wobbly. Awesome, thank you boss. Okay, 
<laughs> How good. Pro tea, can I? This was only two ringgit 50 cents, which is about 50 cents US. Very, very cheap. Check out this roti. <laughs> it's so stringy. Essentially, what you have to do is you have to dip it in this curry sauce here. Mm. Um, I forgot the name of this already. Punch? I think water just leaked on me. <laughs> yeah, I think the uh, air conditioning is leaking on my head. All right. Let's, let's try this tea and coffee mixed together. Wow, that's really good. It's like a hit of coffee, but then you can also taste the tea, but both isn't too overpowering. So it's a really nice mix. Yeah, I really like that. Okay, so Roti can I dine here at the restaurant Carter. Really nice place actually. Everyone was really shocked to, uh, to see me in there. I think there may not be many foreigners that go in there. I tell you what, there's some amazing graffiti installations here in Kuala Lumpur. Absolutely breathtaking. I love how the city incorporates like nice graffiti to make things more lively, storytelling, like you can see here, this guy washing elephants. So cool. So before we go in and explore Madurka Square, I just wanted to quickly talk about a question that I get asked on Instagram and on YouTube sometimes a lot, is how do I travel around and get data on my phone? Now I've mentioned this before in some previous videos, but I actually use a app called Nomad eSIM. For example, if you live in Malaysia and you want to travel to Thailand, then you download the app in Malaysia, you click on Thailand, and you buy a eSIM for that. You can activate it before you take off and then when you land, you have data as soon as you land. You can say goodbye to lining up in long queues and getting charged a ridiculous price for a SIM in the country that you're going to. Nomad covers over 110 countries around the world. Actually have a special code for you guys when you purchase your first eSIM from them, which is Jack. 92 CB all in capital letters and that will give me a little bit of a commission and you guys some money off your first eSIM. I use it for things like Google Maps, my social media, WhatsApp. So say goodbye to the hassle of expensive roaming charges. So once again, thank you to Nomad for sponsoring this video. Let's get back into the video. Come on. <laughs> someone getting their wedding photos here. <laughs> so cute. Okay, so I've just came over to the other side now of the Madurka Square and there's a massive green patch of grass here so you can walk around. I believe there's even a cricket pitch in the middle. I don't know when they use that, but that's really interesting. So then you have the massive flagpole here with the Malaysia flag and then all here you have the Malaysia flag, and I also believe the flag for Sarawak, for Borneo as well. Um, let me know if, in the comments if I'm right with that, but I'm pretty sure it is. So yeah, this area is a really nice green space, and they've also got a lovely water fountain here behind me, and a nice little garden of pink flowers as well, which is really, really nice. But yeah, 
This is a lovely, lovely spot here in the center of KL. Also, these like old looking houses here sort of looks a little bit like um, architecture from like Holland or somewhere. If anyone knows what these buildings are, they could just be restaurants. Sun in Malaysia is hot today. I'm absolutely sweating. <laughs> it's crazy. Oh, managed to escape the heat. Just this little bit of shade just here. Have a quick water break. There is a lot of tourist buses here in KL, which is great for first time travelers, especially if you're coming and you're coming from China where you don't know much English. These tour buses are a really great way to see the main attractions in the city. So yeah, if you're ever coming here and you're a little bit nervous to go out by yourself and take public transport or take taxis, these tour buses will pick you up from your hotel, no problem. It's really, really nice. They have cleaners all around this um, space here, just making everything nice for the tourists, sweeping up leaves, cleaning off the moss off these uh, stone walls here. Really, really great job. through this like sort of overgrown abandoned building and the uh, Malaysian jungle is sort of starting to get a little bit carried away and yeah overgrow this building as you can see we've got some vines up here yeah wow quite an interesting little spot So just got off the LRT then. I actually ran into another Australian person my age. Uh, and yeah, we just talked about like travel and all different things. Honestly, the people you meet when you're traveling just blows my mind. I was just sitting there minding my own business and uh, yeah, he said hello and then we got talking. Crazy. Right now, walking through like this little uh, neighborhood just underneath the bridge here, and like look at this old abandoned car just here, and it's right by the uh, the river here as well. But yeah, really sort of spooky, isn't it? Feels like something off a movie scene. Yeah, even down here, they've got some workers down here chilling, eating their lunch next to the river. Sort of like a little random walkway, but it's really hidden. Like, I don't know how so many people know that this is here, but anyway, let's, uh, let's walk and get some lunch. It also seems to be just a dumping ground for construction um, as well. <laughs> people are just dumping stuff underneath the bridge, out of sight, out of mind. <laughs> Okay, wow, even got an old sign here. So yeah, I gotta walk up here. So yeah, really, really fascinating. All right, come with me as I climb up here. <laughs> hopefully I don't, oh shit. I was about to say, hopefully I don't fall over and I nearly did. All right, I'm gonna put this camera away. <laughs> okay, so I just came into a little uh, street restaurant here. Sweat is dripping off my face. I've ordered a, I um something something. I asked for nasi lemak and they didn't have it. And then she said we have I um which means chicken something something. So let's see what that is. Speaking of actually, here it comes. Thank you. Wow, thank you so much. Okay, so this is what I got. I think is this is a I um yet I believe it's called. So fried chicken with rice and soup and everything and I also got a ice cold water too <laughs> so yeah I'm gonna use my hands uh, and dig into this should be nice okay so let's give this a try I've got a bit of chicken cabbage rice oh that soup is really good So I've 
just had someone join me for lunch. Hello. <laughs> uh, how cute is that? Okay, so just leaving this little restaurant here. So I ended up ordering this one, I am Piet, which was this one here. And I also just got another subscriber for the channel. Uh, she just subscribed to my channel, so thank you for subscribing. <laughs> so good to be back. Uh, video coming out on Monday, so look forward to that. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. And as always guys, keep it real. Cheers.